Hello, it's Alex here from alexfergus.com and today I'm going to do a quick unboxing and first look at the Red Light Rising full stack red light panel. And yes, uh, it is floating in the air. No, actually it's sitting out on a uh, little chair over there, just in case you're wondering how this works. So um, I'm going to keep this video nice and short. I don't want it to be an in-depth review, just a, just a quick look for today. Uh, so this panel uh, is the full the biggest unit that Red Light Rising sells. It is their full stack, like I mentioned, and is 1.2 meters high. Uh, Red Light Rising, a new company on the red light scene. There are many now popping up. Um, and be sure to subscribe to my channel because I'm hoping to review them all eventually. Um, red Light Rising is based in the UK. Uh, so their prices on their website, redlightrising.co.uk, are in British pound dollars, or British pounds. Uh, this particular unit is 695 British pound, which works out to be about 890 US dollars. They do offer free shipping, international shipping, which is great. You will pay duties and taxes uh, if they are applicable. They have three units in their product range at the time that this video has been recorded. Uh, that is the full stack, a half stack, which is half the size, and a little target light which has 12 LEDs compared to the 200 in here. Uh, I'm not going to focus on this today. I'll do that in another video. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to open this up for the first time, share that experience with you, and uh, we're going to have a quick first look. We'll fire it up, run through the specs, and then I'll leave it there. All right, let's do this. Alright, so as you can see, it's a pretty cool unit. I mean, the fact that it's red instead of the typical white casing, I think it's very cool. It's very different and unique, and uh, something that will help Red Light Rising and their products stand out from what's becoming a saturated market in terms of uh, red light panel offerings. Um, what else do we have? So, in the box, there are only four things. The panel itself, which we'll get to soon, uh, some hanging, clips, carabiners with a little bit of wire so you know you can hang them from a door perhaps, actually no, probably can't hang these from a door, there's no door hinge panel or clip with this, uh, instead you have these brackets on the back so you could hang this on a wall, you'd have to put in some um, hooks to hang from uh, or you could get creative. And then it comes with a power cable, now the cool thing is I live in New Zealand we have different power plugs to America and the UK, uh, and it actually came with a New Zealand slash Australia power plug, which is great because all those other panels I've received in the past, if you've watched my videos, I have to go out and get adapters. Some of the companies came with adapters, others it was entirely up to myself to get it. So it's pretty cool that it came with that. It's one less thing that I need to buy. And, and to be honest, another good thing about this is, um, when you have those travel adapters, it's a little bit unsightly, you know, you have all these multi plugs and, and then you've got this big bulky travel adapter, so that's pretty cool. Anyway, uh, as for the panel itself, as you can see, it is rather tall, I am on the ground on my knees right now, it is 1.2 meters, I will stand up next to it so you can see, you know, it's pretty tall, which is cool. Uh, 1.2 meters, it's not that wide, however, it, these LEDs do have a beam angle of 30 degrees, so you are getting a wider surface area. Um, what else do you need to know? 200 LEDs split between 660 and 850 nanometers, so you're getting the red light benefits plus the near infrared benefits. 660 and 850 is becoming a standard, or I guess now it is the standard. Uh, Juve do 660 and 850, uh, minor, red, minor red light. Um, you know, most of the, the big companies or even the smaller companies that are doing those 660 and 850. Novathor with their beard, uh, Mitogen with their red light beard as well, they use those wavelengths. It's because those wavelengths have a lot of um, science evidence to show that they work and they are therapeutic, but there is evidence showing that other wavelengths are also beneficial and that's why uh, a competitor, competitor to this product, uh, Red Light Man, they also do um, 760 or 750 nanometers and, and low 600. So anyway, I'm going off on a tangent there. But on that note, Red Light Rising do allow you to order custom wavelength 
panels. So if you do want a 630 and a 720 or, or something, I can't remember, there's a list of available options. But if you do want something a little bit different, whether you've got a particular health issue that you know there's a lot of evidence showing that this other wavelength is, is very beneficial, then you know that, that's a great offering and I don't know of any other companies doing that at the moment. So that's very, very cool. Uh, what else? Power radiance on this unit is 100 millivolts uh, per centimeter squared at 20 centimeter distance. So, you know, that's your standard sort of distance. Actually, it's a little bit further. I think Juve have their power ratings at 15 centimeters, and I think it's 100 milliwatts as well. So, this may in fact be a little bit more higher powered. I don't know yet. I'm still waiting for my meter to arrive, which I'll use to do a fully independent uh, test to check all these power levels on all my devices the Juve, the Red Light Rising, Mono Red panel etc um, so until I've got that I uh, will just have to take the manufacturers claims but in this instance it was a very high powered device uh, probably more than the Juve but don't quote me on that uh, what else do you need to know the EMF numbers on this are also good again using the manufacturer stats I will be testing that myself in that upcoming re review so be sure to subscribe I am um, I don't really know what else to say about the unit uh, again it was about 890 890 dollars US Free shipping. If you want the custom panels, as in custom LEDs, that's another hundred or thereabouts, hundred pounds extra. But still, it's quite a competitively, or it is competitively priced, um, especially compared to the premium or the market leader uh, Juve red lights. So we're going to fire this up real quick. We'll have a look at it, and then I'll probably wrap it up because I don't know really what else I have to cover. So let's do this. Alright, that's all plugged in to go, and I realized I did miss one thing, or well, two things actually. I don't know if you can see on the side here, the R, L, R, that's really cool. I mean, that's the Red Light Rising branding, um, and I really, I really do like the red. Like I said, all the other ones are the beigey, cream, white sort of coloring, uh, which is fine, but it's kind of cool, you know, seeing something a little bit different. Uh, you know, maybe you've got a trendy gym or a yoga studio, and you want something a little bit different. Uh, you know, there's definitely appeal here to this color. Uh, the other thing I forgot to mention on the back, there are switches for both near infrared and red light. So if you just want the 660 or you just want the 850, you can do that. Personally, there's never been a time in all my years using red light therapy that I've only used one or the other. Um, I don't, I'm sure there is a need and a good appeal, good reason to have this, but I always just have them both on. Uh, and then you can see the hanging points, hanging brackets. There's six of them. All right, so. We'll Turn this on now. Power's on. That's red. And near infrared. So you can't see the near infrared because it is invisible. That's why it may look like only half the lights are going. Um, the LEDs are, there's no fancy patterns here. It's just alternating lines. Top line is near infrared. The next one's just red. Near infrared, red. Uh, there, is, there are fans in this unit, like most of the units. Or well, all the high powered units have the built in fans. It actually seems a little bit quieter than the other panels I've tested. When I do that comprehensive review, I've also purchased a decibel meter, so I will be testing sound. So it's a little bit quieter. It's red light and, and there for red light. I don't really know what else to say about it. If you have any questions, let me know. Uh, just pop a question. Oh, I had the near for red off. So when the switches are on, they do light up. The weird thing is the switches go the opposite way for red and near infrared. So it's one of those things you'd want to check that the near infrared's on because uh, because it's invisible, you never know if it's on or not. Anyway, if you have any questions, enter, leave them below. I'll do my best to answer them. Or head over to redlightrising.co.uk to learn more about these products. You may notice there were no flyers or manuals or anything that came with this panel. Um, it's all online. You can go to their website and you see it all, all there online. Unless it was meant to and I didn't get it, but it wasn't in this box. Uh, be sure to subscribe. Head over to alexfergus.com for all my reviews on red light therapy and red light panels. I've got some amazing articles over there on red light therapy. If you don't know what it is and why I'm talking about it and have all these units, check that out. Uh, and also, yeah, keep an eye out for my in-depth reviews. I'm going to review the Juve, the Red Light Rising, Mito Red. I'm trying to, I'm going to try and get all the devices and I've got a very expensive light meter to test the power radiance at certain distances. I'm going to test the flicker rate. I'm going to test the actual wavelength that's been emitted and EMF 
and price and beam angle, all these things, and I'm going to compare them all. It's going to be great. So stay tuned for that. In the meantime, I'm signing out. It's Alex from alexfurious.com. Peace.